Fixer family, it's Charmin, and on today's video, I have an awesome Christmas decor piece made out of Dollar Tree items. Welcome to Fixin' 2! So we're going to jump right in, and we have gotten two of these decorative bales from the Dollar Tree, and we're just getting them prepared by removing all of the Christmassy look to them there. And we started out by using this acrylic paint in gray, and uh, yeah, this didn't work out so well. And I should have known better. Um, I tried it out, and you'll see as I'm putting it on here that it just didn't cover very well. It was like watery on it. So I took some of this Rust-Oleum American Accent. It's a flat gray primer that I had on hand and gave these a good coat, um, good base coat on the inside and on the outside. Now we'll use the acrylic paint a little later on, but to start with, we're going to go ahead and pull out our folk um, art paint, metallic paint here in the color silver and also a pack of these um, makeup sponges from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use a couple of those and we're just going to begin by taking our makeup sponge and dabbing it all over the bale and I just do this in a dabbing motion to be able to make it kind of give it that um, hammered look that galvanized metal has and we get it all over there and then we're going to also take some of that gray acrylic paint and we're going to begin to do the same thing now of course you'll see when i first start out you can see kind of the square of the sponge but i'm just going to take and blend this in all over and uh, do it just like i did the silver but a little bit wider i guess you can kind of say and in between each one of these layers, I'm going to take my hair dryer and I'm going to go ahead and dry each layer so that we can get that layered look. And I go back in with the silver and then a little bit more of the gray again. And then I'm going to also do this on the inside. Now this is not real important, I just didn't want it to be noticeable when you're looking at it hanging. So once I got the grays done, then I'm going to go in with some folk art metallic gold and just basically do a, bra a dry brush effect along the edges and just kind of giving it that kind of a rusted look. And I use the gold and I also use some burnt umber. Now once our bales are completely dry, it's time to make some hangers for our bales. Now for the first bale, I measured out, I, it was probably about 12 to 13 inches, and then I just doubled it over like four times to create um, the shorter hanger for the first bale. Now I'm going to take a little piece of tape and wrap it around the top of the twine and this will help me to thread it through the top of the bale. And of course the hole in the top of the bale, you just take your scissors and kind of make sure that it's wide enough for you to feed that through. And once you get that on there, then you're ready to feed it through. And you've, you'll see kind of here how it's like, eh, it wasn't going through. So I just took my scissors and just kind of helped it out just a little bit and got it in there. And what we're going to do is thread it through and kind of fold it in half. And that will be the first one. And you'll see that that makes it about six or so inches long. Now for the second one, we do the same thing, but of course we're going to make them a little bit longer. And I did this one about 24 inches long and then doubled it over um, about four times as well, creating the same thing that I did with the first one. And of course this one being a little bit longer. And we'll do that and then you'll see how they kind of hang kind of offset from each other. Thank you. 
Now I'm jumping in here super quick to let you guys know that this video is part of my sweet friend Heidi Sambles DIY challenge. And guys, of course, as you can tell, it is Christmas themed. And so when you're done with this video, down in the description box, I will have the link to the playlist so that you can hop on over there and get grab you some more Christmas inspiration. I will also have Heidi Sambles DIY channel linked down in the description box below as well as Heidi Sambel home this is a channel that she loves to share things about her home her decorating for the seasons projects that she has going on it is awesome it is just as awesome as her DIY channel so make sure that y'all jump over there when you're done watching this so let's jump back into this fun project and get it all finished up now it's time to pretty things up even more. So I got some of this greenery and different stuff from picks that I have picked up at, um, of course, at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take this one here and I'm going to pull off the little stems off of the wire piece and put a little hot glue on there to make sure that these do not come off. They don't fall off because they're notorious for doing that. So we'll get those stuck back on. I'm going to do all three of them and then we're ready to attach it to the front side of our bale. And I'm just using some hot glue for this. I've kind of taken the wire and hooked it a little bit so it kind of hooks down into that little hole you see in the top and just adding some of my hot glue to it so that it gets on there and stays. And we're just adding other greenery and then I'm gonna take some of these little berries and cut them apart and glue them kind of down that one particular vine there so that it gives it that fun Christmas feel to it. And then we're gonna be ready to finish touches on here and do a bow on the front. Now I'm using just a little bit of um, about half inch wide ribbon that's not wired and then a piece of burlap ribbon that is wired. But we'll first start with the regular ribbon and the way that I'm going to make this bow so that it holds, I guess you could say kind of is a straight bow, is I take two loops with the ribbon and then just kind of tie them on themselves. And it doesn't have to be perfect at first because you're just trying to get it together. Then you can start to pull it from either side to get it to the desired size that you are looking for. So just kind of pulling it tight and then pulling your little tails. Once you get the size that you want, well, let's go ahead and make our little looped bow here with the burlap ribbon. We'll fold it over on itself, finding our center, flipping it over, and then we're gonna push down in the middle and then kind of over and down on either side. I'll show you again. It's down in the middle and then folding back on either side and that gives you the kind of that really pretty center. And then you wanna make sure that your little um, bows or your little loops are even. So you just kind of pull them up to themselves. And then I'm gonna do this one-handed here and I'm gonna take that extra ribbon that I had and I'm just gonna tie it as tight as I can, putting a little knot in there to secure that center. And that was a little difficult, but we did it there. And then I'm gonna just trim off the each side of it there once I get it where I want it. And then we are ready to add the other ribbon to the top of it here. So we're just gonna take a little hot glue and we're gonna just place the other ribbon right in the center on the top of it. And then I'm gonna just cut me some gut dovetails into the little tails here to make it all pretty. And then of course we're going to put our bow right here on the front of our bale. Now to bring it all together, we're gonna to gather up our twine here all at the top, getting them the level that you want between the two of them. 
and creating another bow with my ribbon just like I did the first time gluing it at the top where I had tied the twine together and then just trimming off of my little tails here and I think that this turned out super cute it's super rustic and speaking of rustic guys don't forget that starting on November the 23rd I am bringing you the 12 days of a rustic Christmas and I am so excited about it. It's November 23rd through December 18th, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for four weeks and I'm so excited. Can't wait to kick this off. I hope that you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did. And if you haven't noticed, it's kind of been hiding back here behind me while I've been talking with you. Now, I do have a question for you. Let me know down in the comment section below, what are some of your favorite holiday traditions? For me, it is getting together with the girls in my family and baking, making stuff. I mean, all kinds of goodies. And we love to do that and we'll share it with each other and we'll also sometimes share with neighbors. And it is just a fun way to get together with my daughter, granddaughter, sister, niece, and just have a good time making some goodies. So make sure you let me know down below. I would love to hear from you. And I also want you to know that you are worth it. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.